in this video, we got a gameplay on the new invincible Giannis and Ted and Kumpo in NBA 2K23. My team is going to be a 99 overall power forward small forward. And as you guys can see, he actually is an original owner. I did happen to pull him on my second account. So a big pull getting invincible Giannis. He's going to be a 6 foot 11 power forward small forward. And we know Giannis has one of the best player models in the game. And that's the reason why he's going to be a top of small forward, just mainly due to his wingspan, his height, his player model, and just his size, his animations at the small four position because we know his stats are going to be basically all in 99 97 three ball 99 driving dunk you know perfect max out defense stats and badges like the cards basically perfect when we're looking on paper at stats and badges he's got 55 hall of fame badges I mean, i'm just going to quickly scroll through i'll just show you guys the ones that he actually doesn't have that probably makes a lot more sense you know it probably makes a lot more sense than just you know naming off every single badge he has but the ones that he is missing on hall of fame dream shake pro touch comeback hit guard up miss my expert special delivery and vice grip and then for his upgradable badges the only two other ones you can give him are clutch shooter and space crater so the only badge that i see that he actually really needs is like guard up so if you have this card and you want to give him hall of fame guard up that's really the only thing i can see upgraded for this invincible Giannis. but now let's hop into freestyle and just quickly check out his animations i think for Giannis, there's not going to be too big of a difference you know compared to his previous card animations wise he is going to have the curry slide now which is definitely going to help him out on offense like as you guys can see the curry slide can be super effective especially for getting downhill like it's able to create a lot of space and we know Giannis is going to be the best maybe i would say one of the best why does he keep punching the air i think Giannis is going to be one of the best room runners in the game at that small forward spot i mean his dunk packages are absolutely in, uh, absolutely unreal he basically never gets blocked going to the basket and he's just going to be so unstoppable at going to that rim and then i do want to check out his jump shot because it is going to be on very quick timing so it should be a little bit faster than his previous other two cards and that's not a that's not like actually a terrible release you're still going to get like those load up animations where it feels like a super slow jump shot but that on very quick timing actually isn't too bad like it's definitely not a great jump shot but i don't think it's necessarily bad on very quick timing but let's go green number three and let's get on to the invincible Giannis gameplay into the clutch time online game here with the invincible Giannis. this is going to be a really tough matchup going against will chamberlain but invincible Giannis with the first dunk on the possession or the his first dunk on that first possession but this is going to be a really tough matchup like i said going up against will chamberlain going up against guys like pink diamond peter he's got jonathan isaac at the small four position so he's got some really good big man cards on this squad so it should be a tough matchup here trying to grab that rebound can we finally get the board and yes we do and let's get that basketball into the hands of Giannis. can wilt us or, or can Wilt or Peter stop us at going to the basket? Gotta look to slow it down, man. Gotta look to slow it down. Try to hit him with a little bit of burst of speed. Can we get around him? Yes, we do. And we get a terrible layup animation. I was actually surprised, you know, he got that far going to the basket. So that was nice to see, you know, that he did, that he is feel he does feel really quick at going to the basket. But yeah, we gotta look to run here in transition, trying to create some space. We got Ryan Hollins here down low, pump faking in the air for the easy standing dunk. And Giannis off to a really well-rounded start. Two points, one rebound, and one assist on the ball game he's gonna throw a bad pass can we get that steal and no we can't so many loose balls we're just not able to get right now he's looking to find sean livingston trying to play good defense here with josh giddy he's gonna drive to that paint Giannis. i'm not sure if he actually got that block but coming over and playing really good defense trying to find Giannis here with a little bit of space creating some space Giannis pulling up a will chamberlain's face and he's knocking it down Giannis and Tenacupo, man, absolutely hooping right now. Just destroying Will Chamberlain, his pink diamond Peter, all these great cards in the game. He is destroying. Look at Giannis and then passing lanes. We get that steal. Looking to push it in the break. The glitchy behind the back. Can we get some space going to the basket? Giannis all the way. And no, he's going to get blocked by Peter. I thought we were going to throw that down. Man, I really thought he was about to just yam that home, you know, uh, underneath the basket. Trying to find him here with some space, though. Giannis with the front clutch, and we got a quick seven points, one rebound, and one assist on the ball game. Really impressed and just, you know, happy so far with how well Giannis is playing just on both ends of the ball. Trying to recover out there. Going to give him wide open shot. He's going to brick that once again, and we have a quick 9-0 lead. Trying to get to the rim. We know Giannis wants to go to the basket. I right, got to slow it down, man. Got to slow it down. Looking to take him off the dribble. He can't stay in front of Giannis. We're going all the way way to the rim 
I mean, all you have to do is just run to the basket every single play, and you're going to get some good looks with Giannis, and that's why he's so overpowered. I know some people might not say he's like insanely good, or he's definitely probably not worth his price tag, but this card is still going to be one of the most glitchy and overpowered cards in the game is now he's got that sharp shooting takeover and now we can really look to cook with Giannis from the three-point line fading with that normal leaner oh my god don't do it to him Giannis 14-0 and my opponent's gonna get up out of here let's hop into another clutch time game Man, I'm not going to lie. Giannis went absolutely ballistic there in that first clutch time game, especially on the offensive end, as we're going to find him here down low, going to match up against Nikola Jokic. I think it's the out of position, or sorry, I think it's the playoff one, not the out of position Jokic at that power forward spot. But yeah, Giannis went absolutely crazy in that first clutch time game. I know he's maybe not going to be on the offensive level as a Chet or a Bull Bull, because he doesn't have that glitchy of a jump shot. His dribble six might not be as good, but this card's animations and just the way he plays in game, is like no other small forward i don't i can't really explain it unless you use a Giannis card like once you use Giannis, you'll understand like he just gets the craziest animation it's gonna dot that to the corner eddie jones with a wide open three and a great playmaking start from Giannis, able to get eddie jones there with a wide open three ball but yeah basically what i was saying about Giannis is he just does everything at such a high level mainly due to his player model and the animations he gets in game but another rebound there for Giannis, and i'm also playing him at the power four position and you can run him at small forward which would be even more glitchy but look at him like that is just unreal the fact that he can go coast coast to coast snag that rebound push the ball in transition and then go for that crazy dunk like that is just what Giannis can do and why I think he's going to be one of the best small forwards you know in my team maybe not as good as Bull Bull or Chet because I understand those guys are absolutely ridiculous and I've tried both those cards out multiple times and yeah I probably will say the better all-around small forwards and power forwards is probably Bull Bull and Chet compared to a card like Giannis but I'm just saying, man, let's not act like Giannis is some sort of bad card. Because I saw DBG on Twitter. I don't know if you guys follow DBG on Twitter. But I saw him saying that Giannis was ass. Or that, you know, he was the same as his uh, Opal card, I think he was saying. I don't believe that at all, man. I think this Giannis card is a huge difference because of the Curry slide. Obviously, yes, the badges and the animations do make a difference. The stats all being a 99. I think that stuff does make a difference. And even if it doesn't, this card is so, so overpowered. Like, he is just unreal at the small four position. Look at us getting another steal. We're looking to push it, uh, push it here in transition. And that is not a smart pass. Got to get back here with Giannis. Trying to go for the steal. He's going to pull up in transition. Look at Ryan Hollins on the board. And we're moving that, man. Get it into Giannis's hands. Looking to cook right on that screen we got the speed advantage man we got the speed advantage Giannis going to the rim like that curry escape just opens up so much more possibilities with this Giannis card, Giannis card at getting to the basket and just overall being so much better offensively as we're looking to play some good defense here I'm not even sure who that is I think it's Joe Johnson got to watch that shot in the corner Giannis boxing out and uh, we're actually going to get the rebound there with RJ Barrett. All right, well, guys, my opponent's going to quit. I think we're up 12 to 2 in that second clutch time game. Honestly, I think Invincible Giannis is one of the best small forwards in the game. Is he worth his price tag? Probably not. I'll agree with DPG on that. I'm sure you said multiple times that just go get a different type of Giannis, the Opal, or maybe a cheaper Dark Matter, and they'll play very similar in game. But let's not act like Invincible Giannis isn't the third best small forward in the game, at least in my opinion. But yeah, I don't think he's worth his price, but I do think he's one of the best small forwards and can be argued in the right lineup and play style is the best small forward in my team but let me know your guys thoughts and opinions on this new invincible Giannis card and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace